Hi everybody, it's me, Lisa McLeod, your MPP for Nepean and Carleton. I just arrived back from Ottawa to Toronto to sit for an emergency session at the Ontario Legislature. What does that mean? Well, yesterday when we adjourned, we thought uh, that that uh, was going to be a normal week. We sit Monday through Thursday. Uh, we begin at about 10.30 on Monday morning, and we adjourn usually around 6 p.m. on Thursdays. Well, by the time I landed last night, back in the city of Ottawa, home to see Joe and Victoria, I was told that, no, we would be coming back this weekend for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because the NDP, the New Democratic Party under Andrea Horvath, refused, refused to allow a unanimous consent to pass all three readings of a piece of legislation that would get 500,000 college students back into their classrooms. So here I am. I'm going to be missing a few events I did today uh, in Barhaven and I'll be missing a few on Sunday but I've been uh, allowed to go back home tomorrow to make sure I'm in the Barhaven Santa Claus Parade which I'm really looking forward to. So what's next? Well I'm on my way right into the assembly where at 3 p.m. this legislation will be tabled. Everything is going to be contingent on whether or not the New Democratic Party will provide us with unanimous consent on any single day so every scenario is possible um, it means that today if they decide they will pass it in all three readings we won't have to come back I don't think that's going to happen though we just had a fire alarm here at the evacuated Queens Park for the last little wet um, everyone's back inside though uh, right in time for the tabling which will be at 3 p.m. so we're sitting here today between 3 and 6 tomorrow between 1 and 6 and again on Sunday if need be between 1 and 6. This is historic. It's only happened a few times, I think three in my career at Queen's Park uh, when we legislated uh, I believe the TTC back to work as well as, and I'm sorry for the lighting, as well as when we uh, we legislated back York University students and I think uh, we had one other incident. So it's extremely rare that this happens and in my 12 year career it's not happened that frequently but um, that's that's how we are going to deal with it now. So if you have any questions, please call my office at 613-823-2116 or you can send me a Facebook direct message uh, to see how this is progressing. I know you're probably all watching it on the news. Um, as you can hear, the bells are ringing. That's to summons MPPs into the legislature. So I got here just on time. And in fact, you'll be able to see the procession of the, uh, of the speaker who's going to be in the house. So I'll have to rush up. I'm not sure if we're going to start our day with a prayer or not. But, uh, but um, we're not allowed to walk in front of the, uh, of the speaker when he does the procession. And of course, this is a very important day for all of us so that we know, um, so that we'll be able to deal with uh, this legislation to get those students back in school. So what I have read, and they're going to let me go through. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the speaker hasn't come yet, so I'll, I'll get in there. So effectively what's going to happen is we will um, introduce this, the Liberals will introduce this bill. They have the support of the Progressive Conservative Party so that we can get those students back into their classrooms. I, of course, am mostly concerned with Algonquin College, which uh, services my community, and I've also been a student there, so uh, obviously my heart is with those students. And um, effectively, after two days that this bill passes, those students will be back in school. So uh, let's hope for Monday, but it might be as late as some point next week. So. There it is. I have to go into the chamber. Wish me luck.